friends, where's Jewel? Hi! Hello! Hello! So today we're on the way to our cousin's house because they got a new puppy and we're gonna go there for some emotional support. Because and some social exciting. distance visiting. Yes, yeah, so, so we're really excited to see them and if I can film, I'll film in a bit. Hello. Hello. So with some leftover dough, I made two delicious pies. This was the one I had in mind, a lemon meringue pie. And then with the extra dough, because I always have extra and a little pie maker, well, I would say a tart maker, I made this delicious blueberries and cream tart with mascarpone, blueberries, a little bit of crumble. It's actually so delicious. It's shockingly good and I just winged the recipe on the spot, so I might have to film this for you guys if you want. Yes. And now I have this delicious lemon meringue pie that I base off of my key lime pie recipe. And I think it's gonna be so delicious, so I will cut into it and I will let you guys know. If you guys want me to film any of these recipes, please let me know, because I think they're gonna be delicious. Well, this one, I already know it's so good. Nikita ate one piece yesterday, and then he's like, okay, I need another piece. So guys, we are playing this new game. This is Viticulture. We even have the Tuscan expansion, but since it's our first time playing, we're not using that. So it's so exciting. This is a really cute Tuscany-themed winemaker's game. It's really adorable, and we're also drinking some wine. Yum. Ripasso. Cheers. Ripasso. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, she's so... See, she likes it because it's like the squishy bottle. Because yeah. it sounds like the bottle, yes. yep. Luna is loving her little rosé toy from HomeSense. This is what I miss getting, little doggy toys. <laughs> so cute, Luni. You look so pretty. <laughs> So I'm making some sous vide salmon over here. You have to make sure that the bag is closed really tightly because you do not want the salmon to rise. So if it's not closed too tight, I always put a heavy little cup in there. This is my heavy glass measuring cup just to make sure that it stays underneath. You don't want this to float up. And now inside we have some salmon with some salt, some dill, fresh dill, some fresh lemon, some fresh green onions. Um, a little bit of butter and yeah, it should be really delicious. Just simple and good. I love my salmon with dill and lemon and onion So you'll see it when it's all done. So this is the end result of the salmon. It's delicious after the sous vide We just quickly pan sear it mashed potatoes yeah, Greek salad fun jewels made a homemade ranch Mmm, This looks so good. So I'm so excited Yum cheers Mm. This feels like summer. And I'm like, wait a second. What in the what? world is going on? Oh so, my god. I pick it up and I'm not sure if it's real. I'm not sure if it's real. I pick it up and I come up to one of the guys and I'm like... Nikita and I have our little burrata spread and our sushi spread. Mm. And our pills because we're old and we need digestive enzymes. <laughs> Cute. Mmm. Let's see what's inside. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Heavenly. Can you guys see this? I don't know because of the sun, but that is heavenly. Mm. Mm. So everyone loves this ice cream. It's a hit and I call it crema di lisa. It's basically like Italy's version of vanilla because instead of vanilla, it just has some secret ingredients in it so if you guys want to know the recipe let me know and I'll be happy to film a video hello so today we are going to Jen's condo because she's having us over for a little party it's really just us but this is like the most fun we're having in a while so she did her condo I showed you guys the before it was her little DIY project and she had like the towels done from Ikea she ordered a bunch of furniture online and I have to say I have a sneak peek and it looks beautiful so she did a great job Job. She made her really cute little balcony look amazing. It's so huga if you guys know what that is. It's just so cutesy and adorable. So I really, really love her balcony. So I'm excited to show you guys the finished product. I love DIYs and before and after. So hopefully you guys do too. I'll insert a clip of what it used to look like before and then you'll see the final reveal. So we're going today. I actually ended up wearing a little dress 
Don't mind the state of my room, guys. I still have a hole in my ceiling if I mention that, but. <laughs> so I actually ended up dressing up a little bit because I haven't been able to dress up in a while. So yeah, it's just nice to put on makeup and to get dressed. So we're about to head off and eat because she's having us over for a little strutzikinis like burrata and like a charcuterie board and some Aperol spritzes, so it should be fun. So let's go. Let's Look at this. <laughs> get out of here. It's so beautiful. It's stunning. <laughs> you still love me after I shaved your head, so that's You're a nuts. good sign. Of course. <laughs> this is a sneak peek. Yeah. And I could play this because yep. it is. Royalty free. Found you. Found you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Hi. So I'm having the sisters over for a little Dolce Vita night and the boys. And a little balcony reveal because it's finally done. Me and this guy over here, this amazing guy. <laughs> my boyfriend Dan. He honestly did most of the work for the My balcony. boyfriend Dan. <laughs> Who is this guy? We've never met him. <laughs> My and look at this bread, guys. Whoa, how amazing is that? There's baked brie. Two burratas. Oh my gosh, this burrata open. looks heavenly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like and guys, Jen said this is a pistachio cake. Pistachio is my pistachio favorite thing cake. ever. And of course, and the Aperol spritz. Aperol spritz. How lovely is this spread? So this nice adorable. with delicious bread. This is so excited. Instagram. We brought you the loony. We brought Lulu. So guys, you saw the before, this is the after. How cute is that? I love this privacy panel that came out so nice. I know, Dan did Look it. at this little vintage typewriter out there. And they have like these really pretty lights here. And look at this little corner. Oh my gosh, how cute is that with the flowers? Guys, this I is love like, this piece. This is like night and day. Over here from And this Sense. is from Home Sense Thank Fab you. Finds. Thank so you. guys, the before and after. Thanks to you guys look like you had a makeover too. Oh my God, <laughs> it's like a last video. <laughs> So how nice! We're so happy. Honestly, this guy so did everything. So excited it's over. So excited it's over. Wait until you see it at nighttime because I just want to sit out here all night. It's literally become my balcony sanctuary, and it's yes. very huga. So I'm very. I even said that too before did I came. Yeah, so I said it's huga. I've been very into this whole huga vibe. So just the whole idea of creating a cozy atmosphere that builds happiness or that creates a sort of happiness. I guess. Happy. Like a guy. <laughs> He's not very happy, but he's happy it's done. <laughs> he's happy it's done. Well, good thinks, job, guys. I think he thinks it's a little too girly for his taste. No, but. it's not too girly. It's honestly not. I mean, it's a little bit girly, but happy girly is nice. How cute. Woo! Finished. I'm just so glad that it's done. Most of the stuff that I got um, were just little bits and pieces from everywhere. The tiles were from Ikea. Yes. Little things from HomeSense, the dollar store. Home Depot, Buclair for some of the pillows. Um, yes. Where else? And the lights, where did you get the lights? The lights, Amazon. Oh, awesome. Amazon, Amazon and Ikea. Yeah. So, so there you yeah, go. Just a little bit of everything. So we have her lovely patio. It is so done. beautiful, guys. Honestly, like she did so much and it really paid off because she yeah. made a small space turn into like a beautiful little like a sanctuary. You yeah, don't need a big space to make a very not. cute, cozy space. I like, I love it. I feel like I just want to stay out here all day. And I probably will. And I'm inspired too now. I know. We have now we want to do ours to make nice. Um, yes. And we can't be yeah. in Italy this year, so we're so sad. So I had a little. Yeah. I'm having a little Dolce Vita night and yes. balcony reveal, you might as just well to make, make us home, feel yeah. like we're on a terrace in Italy. And your somewhere. home space. Yes. You want it to be livable because we're home all the time. So Pretty you want to be outside and be at home and be happy. Absolutely. Sisters, oh, I'm so happy to be with my sisters. I get to hug them now. It's apparently Even official. We get to hug our family now. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Can't wait for this pistachio cake. Mm. Guys, this is gorgeous. This is nicer than like some people's wedding. Like honestly. Yeah, you got a separation anxiety. Come here. Come here. She's so nervous today. Too many people for you. Luna has become an introvert. Like Are you ready? Let's cut open this burrata. Oh my god, yeah. Okay. Just go like this. Fake cake too. I love the fix. Right? Because I go, I go in the red. The fix make it look so pretty. Not, not the right way. So I need to take ultra, ultra gentle. Oh, I, I want to do that. It's really light on my oh. stomach and I'm as happy yeah, as yeah, it's like squeeze it, yeah, squeeze yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, if I take Oh my yeah. gosh. Burrata grams. Most people are. He was really like. He was. You and you. Like hey, hey, a, little potato. The family. Okay. Potato. He was really like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pistachio cake. Mm. Sorry. I can't leave. 
Oh, she's feeling bad. This looks good. I wonder if it's gonna be good. I'm actually curious. I know. Mm. This cake's actually from Longos. Yeah. Shout out to Longos, guys. Shout out to Longos. 20 bucks. Amazing. Oh, you guys like my blinked out glasses? Let me know if you want to see a tutorial. Yes, you have to film it. <laughs> guys, it's the three sisters from Italy. Do you guys remember us? We're in Italy. Yeah, right. We this win. time last year we would have been in Italy. In the house. Oh Someone is, okay, I have to say something. Do you ever have like a scent and then it brings you back to a place? <laughs> yes, I'm just drunk. Right now, if someone is frying something and I just think that we're like walking through the streets of like Southern Italy or somewhere. Just that smell of smoke. No, it's the smell of cigarette smoke because they all it's smoke. smoke and, and the fried, the fried <laughs> smell. Because I'm just thinking of like fried bread or something in Italy. Hey. So now I really feel like, really feel like I'm in Italy. That was my little rant. That no one rant. wants to, <laughs> to listen. The, we're living the life right now. Yeah, at home. At home. As much as the we can. Quarantine life. What's behind? Is that like a piece of glass? That's just glass. That's a that's a window. That's. Uh, Oh. Yeah. Luna's slowly sniffing out. Babe, you're watching her, right? This is where the fridge is, right? <laughs> Obviously. Thanks, babe, for filming me in the worst angles. <laughs> what? You look so, you look so handsome. Nice hair, bud. <laughs> Guys, I gave him a quarantine haircut, okay? I do not recommend that he looks great. Love we you. recommend it. It's a nice summer cut. It is. It looks like a beaut. Do not recommend Lisa to cut your hair? Yes. <laughs> Her whole life flashed. I felt it. I'm like, okay. There you go. It took some time. Why you squeeze it? I just don't trust his back. Please come to me too. Please look at these charges. Charges. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, Viv's got to be in your vlog. Viv and Carlton. Viv, say hi. No! Yeah. You're going to be on camera. Did you ever smoke? I've never Viv. Uh, now you are. That this is our sister that we've bad. known. I'm not famous. <laughs> but ever since I started this is our sister, Viv, who we've known for approximately, what, um, 30 years? Three years? 30! 30. Three. At least 20 years. 20, 20, 23 years? Wow. Viv knew me when I was five years old, okay? I just want to say something. Can I say something for Viv? Yeah, exa so exactly 23 years because I'm 28. Okay. Viv, that's crazy. I want to say that she's supposed to get married on the 20th of June. So my heart goes out to all the brides that can't get married. She's supposed to get married to the love of her life on June 20th. Yes. But it's going to happen. It's just going to happen. It's postponed. Next year. We love you guys. Viv and Carlton. Woo! Wedding 2021. 2021. 2021? The new dance. Carlton, you're going to be on YouTube. Oh. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Me and him are natural. <laughs> You're like, oh, cool. Oh, <laughs> I'm zooming in. Look, they got their nice background. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone so awkward? You're a romantic thing. Yeah. 
I just want to say, if I was vlogging back in the day, you would have seen us, girls, and Viv in Greece together. Oh my god, 2015. Epic Greece trip. 2015, guys. So we did, good. We did Athens, Santorini. Mykonos. 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 We had the best time ever. I'm like... <laughs> Viv, what was your favorite part of our Santorini yeah, trip? I think Greece trip. Oh, it's too hard. Mykonos is so Mykonos. fun. Mykonos. 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 I think Mykonos. Fun, but and scary. Oh, and scary. Remember Paradise Sun? Argo! Getting her ass. Argo! Argo! So that was Santorini. Argo. Her amazing meals. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll go on a nice trip together and uh, vlog it. Okay guys, so this is probably going to be the last video of my quarantine. Well, this vlog for sure. If you guys want to see more quarantine vlogs, even though my life is the same Groundhog Day, let me know, otherwise this might be the last one for a while. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and if you do enjoy these videos, give me a thumbs up, and please request videos that you guys would like to see, because I'd be more than happy to help you guys. Bye! You're watching me! You were so funny, so I had one.